We're now going to convert a hyperbola from general form to standard form. So we're going to start with hyperbola, x squared minus 4y squared minus 2x plus 16y minus 20 equals 0. And again, we're going to group this. So we get an x squared minus 2x plus blank minus 4y squared plus 16y plus blank. And we're going to add the 20 over to the other side. That's going to be equal to 20. Well, from here, we need to do one more step to this piece. So we'll leave this one alone for a moment. And we should have a plus blank and a plus blank here. We're going to factor out a minus 4, which leaves a positive y squared, minus a 4y. This will always be a plus. But notice we'll take care of that in just a second. And since I pulled a minus 4 out of it, I need to plug a minus 4. So this blank stays the same. But now I'm going to get a minus 4 times blank. So notice that this number matches whatever's in front of my y squared. Well, let's complete the square. Minus 2 over 2 is minus 1. Minus 1 squared is 1. And minus 4 over 2 is minus 2. Minus 2 squared is 4. So this gives us x minus 1 squared minus 4 times y minus 2 squared equals 20 plus 1 minus 16. So x minus 1 squared minus 4 times y minus 2 squared equals 5. Well, divide by 5, and we have x minus 1 squared over 5 minus 4 fifths times y minus 2 squared equals 1. And if we wanted to, we now know that our a squared is 5, our b squared is 5 fourths. So a is the square root of 5, and b is the square root of 5 over 2. We know that our c squared is equal to 5 plus 5 fourths. So c squared is equal to 20 fourths plus 5 fourths, which is 25 fourths. So c is equal to 5 halves. And we would have a center at 1 minus 2, or 1, 2, rather. That's our center. And, of course, we'd get our asymptotes at y minus 2 equals the square root of 5 over 2 divided by the square root of 5, which turns out to be 1 half plus or minus x minus 1. So there's our asymptotes. And that's how we convert from general form to standard form.